Okay, let's begin. Yeah, 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 what's okay. okay. Taking. Yeah, okay, mother. So today we are going to discuss um, key flex fields. So uh, we have two kinds of flex fields. Uh, so this flex field is uh, so we, we we capture some data using the flex field, and in um, Oracle EBS or uh, Fusion Cloud we have two kinds of flex fields, and one one is DFF. We call it as a descriptive flex field. Mm -hmm. And second one is KFF. It is a key flex field. Okay. So here using the DFF, the descriptive flex field, we capture additional data. Additional data. And uh, here, using the key flex field, we capture main data of the application. Okay, so key flex field is provided by Oracle, and uh, so we uh, so we, we we can't uh, create a new uh, key flex fields, uh, and in DFFs we can create a n number of um, DFFs as per the client data. For example, so client want to insert some data. So, which is required uh, for their reporting purpose. So, definitely, so we can uh, we can create a new data. So, using the DFFs. So, usually it it, it helps. So, when when the client go for any kind of uh, customizations like that. Okay. So here the KFFs we have two kinds of uh, KFFs. So one is one is people group and cost allocation. So these two are the these two are the main key flex fields in HRMS. What is the first one? People group. One is the first one is the people group. People group to manage the people around everything. People group. And second one is cost allocation flex field. People group flex field. So people group is related to global HR and cost allocation flex field is related to payroll. So these two are the main uh, key flex fields, okay. Uh, and based on the uh, these two main flex key flex fields, and we can uh, we so Oracle has stored the main data of the application. So everything, so the entire application is based on the global HR and payroll. Okay. So let me go to the application. Okay. So actually, I queried the project so 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 as you know how to query so i just log in with the uh, the user Curtis uh, user and uh, so go to the setup and maintenance and click on implementation projects so then we can query our the our project unlock hcm projects so that we used to query every day and here i am going to get manage key so it's a manage key flex feed so you can query with the manage key. Okay. So we have cost allocation. Manage cost allocation key flex field. You can see here. You can see. Manage cost allocation, key flex field. Yeah. So this is related to the global payroll. Okay, global payroll, and uh, we, can, we can create we can create our own uh, our own structures. Okay, here we can't create a new flex field. Okay. But you can create new DFFs, DFFs. But uh, here you can see global payroll is the uh, um, so cost allocation is for global payroll, uh, and uh, so we can use this uh, key flex field, and we can create structures like we created chart of account structure. So earlier we created right chart of account structure for the 
uh, for the accounting key flex field, so which is in GL. In GL, accounting flex field is the key flex field. So in HR and cost allocation and people group. So these two are the main key flex fields in GA, in HRMS. Okay. So uh, uh, here we can create our own structure. You can go to the manage structure and you can uh, you can, you can uh, provide the you can create the structure access in the same way so whatever we did in the um, uh, gl um, key flex field so we created uh, we created value set and we created structure we created structure intent and we created segments and then we created segment values in the same way so we can create here as well so for our understanding so let me create one uh, structure and we can define that one so usually, so we can create for cost allocation and at the same time, so we can create for people group, anyone. Okay, we'll show you for one uh, one text field. I'm just checking um, people group. So in the same way, you can see that descriptive text fields are as well. So descriptive. Yeah, so manage descriptive flex fields. So here we can check the descriptive text field. Okay. So let me go to the um, people group flex field. It's not KFF, it's a kind of a key text field only. Just one minute, please. Okay. <laughs> Actually, this one is manage key flex field is the setup that I am not able to find here. Let me go for 
sort of account structure. So here, let me check the module. Okay, so our module is. Uh, So it's related. So let us check the module. So let me go for uh, cost allocation, then we can check with that. So otherwise. So many descriptive text fields or payroll. Okay, when is application for descriptive text fields?
monologue set to go for descript to descript to flex speed are we okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i am just checking the concurrent setup descript to flex speed okay Sometimes I am able to check and sometimes not getting for that check. Is it is it necessary to do the next chapter or can we move to the next chapter? You can do this offline. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. I mean if it is prerequisite for the next chapter, then we should do it. Otherwise you can do it offline and yeah actually it is a one of the setup is a prerequisited so just i'm checking this one okay So here we have different different uh, uh, descriptive text fields. So we can uh, so we can go for the so descriptive text field for payroll and descriptive uh -huh. uh, uh, so employment related uh, descriptive text field and grades related. So grades. So if you want to add additional data for any kind of a grade related people grade. Okay. So then we can use this one. Okay. And uh, so related to talent so person so uh, so any kind of a, if you want to change any kind of a, so personal information employee information then we can we can use this one and we have different text fields so i am che just checking the main uh, um, text field so whether we can go for the we created job and uh, position right so for that i am just checking so whether we we can create a job related uh, descriptive text field like that mm -hmm. Okay, so let me go for the manage the person uh, descriptive text field. So let us check this mm -hmm. one. Let us check this manage descriptive text field. And here you can just uh, click on the manage descriptive text field. And we have different different text fields here. So, so just click on the DFF, any one of the DFFs. Click on one any one of the DFFs. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and here, if you see this one, so we can we can edit it. So we have the edit option here. We can edit it. So usually, what happens? Mm -hmm. So if you want to create new one, but but uh, in the key flex fields, we can't edit it. We can't edit. It. So here, you can edit and you can create your own. Okay. For example, so already uh, there is one uh, one one DFF is created. If you want to create one more, so then click on create, create new, and we can create one more DFF. Yeah. So that means that uh, additional information. So we can create the additional information. DFF is the uh, uh, it's useful to store the additional information. So okay, is it related to uh, people related? Okay, I'm just giving ANL. 
people DFF. Okay. So in the same way, we can create the values and data, data type. So I can take the characters. Okay, and values, value set. We can use. So you can uh, you can use um, the previous value set that we already created. Otherwise, we can create our own. So actually, we created a um, value set. So let me you. Uh, so let me use that value set for just for the for our understanding purpose. Otherwise, we can create. So you can create a new value set, and you can you can assign the new value set here. Okay. So here already we created for analog. So just set here. Yeah, I'm just giving uh, the analog, so just a product related, okay, or company related. So we can do. But in the real times, what we can do is we can create our own. So we have the option here, create a value set. So otherwise, let me create a value set for this one, and we can assign. So we can assign. So we have the proposal to create a value set. So we just create a value set here. So what I can do is analog. So people. Yes, you can copy and paste here and uh, modules. You can select the module. Okay, we have different different different. So let me go for a module called uh, people or HR correlated. So querying it is taking time. I think. So maybe most of the people are using in the morning time. The server. Yeah, human person related, and uh, we can go for the independent and validation type with character. So we created so earlier. In the same way, we can create number of number digits, and then we can give them. So maximum length I can give some ten or like that. Okay, then stay on close. So here we can use this one. Okay, analog uh, people value set we just created, and we can use this one. So this is the way to create. Okay, and uh, so default type. So you can give the constant value or a SQL value. Okay, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So these are all the uh, main fields. Okay, then save and close. You must enter a default value in the application. Eight hundred discrete is the value. Okay, the value. Yeah, this is here. The this is the constant value. So how it will be? So ten. Yeah, I, I have taken ten. So you can do. It. Okay. Okay. So like this. So, so I had added. So like this, you can create n number of segments. Okay. So what we can do is while going for any kind kind of a customization for this uh, uh, purpose related. So we can use this one. 
so in the same way we have different uh, different uh, dfs so this is the one way so we have different P, uh, dfs descriptive pf feed so which is related to uh, people group level grade level and uh, job job level position level okay so here uh, this one is uh, people so it's a citizenship it's a contact and email if you want to edit for the person uh, email related so then you can do that so so if you want to edit any kind of national identifier so this is uh, one kind of a dfm so what we need to do is so uh, click on uh, click on concern dfm and then uh, so you can you can edit it but in the but in the kffs in the kffs key flex fields we don't have the edit option you can also check it and uh, so once mm -hmm. it is completed we'll check that one so we don't have the edit option okay we have the option to create the structures only we can create our own structures and we can do that but we can't edit the dff so so the kff we can't edit the kff which is key flex field so which is used used to store the main data of the application so here you can you can edit it so you can edit and we can do that okay so let me check the different dffs available in the system okay yeah so usually what happens is here uh, we need to find out so i will i will uh, give you the list list uh, so once uh, we complete uh, some topics i will give you the list uh, with the task name so that will be easy to query so otherwise to query so it is a uh, it is a uh, quite uh, difficulty to go through uh, offering and find out that one so it is easy to query the task but we need to know we need we, know, we need to know the relevant um, task name otherwise we can't get it manage descriptive text speed okay flexibility so otherwise let me query with the descriptive text field descriptive text field yeah these are all the different uh, text flex fields so even if there is any uh, spelling error also it will not allow us yeah so here descriptive flex field so so here if you see this one so we have different flex fields which is related to core core descriptive flex field application core descriptive flex field so if i click on this one uh, and we have the different uh, core the uh, core application flex fields so which is uh, related to value sets and uh, related to the core bffs So let me check some other. So descriptive flex field for payrolls. Descriptive flex field mm -hmm. for payrolls. Okay. Just can't hear. So you will see the information related to the payroll. So just uh, you, you need to find out. Descriptive flex field for payrolls. So this one. So manage descriptive flex field for payrolls. So let me click on this. Yeah. <coughs> 
Yeah, yeah. I'm not able to open the form. Yeah, I think you have to wait until it becomes blue. Yeah. No, it is not opening. Let me check other. So, but here the overall idea is. So DFF we capture the additional data and using the KFFs, KFX bits, we will uh, we will uh, so Oracle has provided uh, KFFs and we store the main data of the application. So we can edit DFFs, but we can't edit the KFFs, KFX bits. But you are able to query this one because uh, for me it is giving the application. Yeah, yeah, it is a we due to network issue, I think. Yeah, so that's why I am not able to get it. So let me. Okay. Will you try one more time or? Yeah, we'll try one more time. Yeah, actually I had a network issue, so that's why. Mm -hmm. Are you back in Hyderabad or are you still there? Yeah, I'm uh, moving today. Today. You are going today. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Actually, I came here for three days, but it is extended. Yeah. But here I can man I manage that uh, power backup. So I have the uh, so inverter. So they they arrange the inverter. So there is no power hmm. power problem. Uh, my father in law arranged that power plug, power backup. Yeah. But still, this one, so internet also, okay, it's not an issue. Let me see. Okay, definitely we will check today. So, and uh, tomorrow also we will uh, go through these two only, DFF and KFF, and uh, I will get back uh, with the main things, okay. So uh, with the main uh, uh, tasks, okay. So uh, the tasks which are related to this one. Okay. So overall, the, the brief idea is: so DFF is to capture additional data, and KFF is to capture the main data of the application. 
So do do you do you have this kind of uh, discrete fluctuates in people's heart? Okay, actually we have this one this kind of uh, um, fluctuates in EBS. Yeah, no, it doesn't. It is not uh, segregated like that for uh, the modules. Okay. It is uh, uh, general, like uh, in in the standard programming, we have right, we have. Uh, character fields, numeric field, okay. decimal. Okay. Uh, okay. Concept. Okay. How how you no. how you manage uh, uh, for customizations to uh, to have uh, different uh, scenarios? Okay. For example, I want to customize one uh, one report. So otherwise, yeah. I I want to customize one form. So in that case, so we need to add new fields, right? So you need to add new fields. So in that case, right. So what we do is normally we create another a table, another table which would which could be the clone of delivered oracle table. Okay, the standard table. Uh, yeah, delivered one, and okay. then add columns to that one. Okay. Whatever okay. original information you need. Okay. And then develop a screen for that page. Okay. Okay. And uh, that page you add into the browser. It's oh. called component. Okay, okay. So that the new page will be added into the component. Component is part of a browser. You where you you basically open a component first, okay. and then uh, component opens the page. Okay. That is the concept, which is basically the, the standard uh, programming or legacy programming concept. Okay, okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Not yeah. even same thing Cobol, mainframe Cobol. Okay. Or uh, or uh, even in the other programming like C or C plus plus. Okay. But this seems to be a little bit more uh, uh, segregated because it is internet, completely internet based. Correct, correct. Internet based and also this one is a SAS model. So whatever we are working is SAS model. So I think in the past model, so so they will come up come up with the different. So actually they are going to introduce um, the past model in R4 instance. So which is already available in the market. So they released two weeks, two three weeks back. But it is not available in the demo instance. But more so, most of the features are the same only. But the thing is that so the, using that uh, pass model, you can go for the uh, customizations, and also you can go for the on premises. You can use it for the on premises. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So today I planned for two things, but it is not. I am not able to query them. So let. Pardon? Actually, today I planned for two things. So, KFF and DFF to create uh, two areas. So, I'm not able to query because usually what happens is if you query with uh, at least um, if you query with the relevant name, so we will get it right. So, here I'm not able to get. Actually, I forget the task, the main task. Otherwise. Pardon? Yeah, main is flex field. So, okay, let me check uh, with different uh, uh, DFFs. Okay, so I don't want so so will not create uh, all the things, but uh, just uh, will uh, will go to that one. So tomorrow we'll get yeah. the detailed way. Okay. 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 So let me check uh, the grade related. Okay, if you want to edit any kind of a grade information, people grade. Okay, so and the global options discrete flex field. So these are all the different ways. It is segregated. So as you said, it is segregated for a different, different, different. Um, so okay, if you if you are working for the any kind of a talent, so these are these are all the main ones. So so workforce yeah. profile, workforce profile. So the, you can go to the workforce profile and you can you can. Um, Edit and you can do that. And uh, here work goals, worker goals, and talent, and uh, sub-ledger accounting. So this one, this is related to accounting only. 
so accounting from hr to um, gl so at the end what happens is so the data from all the subledgers all the uh, subledgers will be moved to the gl and we will get all the reportings in gl only okay so here persons related and it is organization manage organization structure okay organization structure so related organ structure we are discussing to legal entity great global so let me check here so actually i forget the main um, field so which we use for the um, job and position so my intention is to explain you so related to job and uh, position because yesterday we created some jobs in the positions right so i will i will uh, i will edit it and then i will show you how it is working for the a job and position so when, whenever we edit anything and we need to test it so whether it is working fine or not so so yeah okay yeah, whatever it is i am just clicking here but it is not open the yeah, application sir okay so i have some one more application so let me check with that one as well okay today i am not going to create anything so just i am just briefing you so tomorrow i will create all these things so this is the other application okay and we have three applications so and this is the other one okay we have three servers yeah. we have three servers the so first mm -hmm. one is uh, water we are using the first one is uh, you can use it because that, that will work in the in the weekend as well yeah oracle uh, uh, they told us it will work in the weekends also okay participant key oh what happened Okay, here I can see that. So do you, do you want all these servers? I think one is which is working. So anyhow, let me copy. Yeah. So let me copy here. You can use this one. You can save somewhere and you can use. Whenever there is a password issue, and please let me know. I will arrange the password because uh, they are working itself. They are changing on weekly basis the password. Maybe because of the security issue, I think I will I will give you that. So I just. I just copy it here. You can use that. Have you sent us a link for this two other two? Sorry, link for? Have you have you sent us a link uh, URL for this other two servers? Other servers, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I I just pinged you here. So actually, the first one we are using, the first one. Okay, just yeah. ping you right. So yeah, I I sent you the second one. And uh, second one and password, and third one uh, and uh, the password. Third one. Oh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, just, yeah, just my ping you. Okay. Because uh, uh, this uh, user is same, so you can use the uh, Curtis uh, that user, but uh, you can uh, the password is different and server link is different. That's it. Okay, it's not. It's not uh, coming up. It's not coming this up. This system is no. Email. I think it is better if you email us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Yeah. Okay. I will do that. Send me the email. It's not. Uh, okay. So we'll send. It. Yeah. Yeah. Got, got it. Yeah. So I will send in the email. Email. Yeah. Okay.
Yeah, I am just sending you. But here, what we can do is, so there are three server links. Okay, the first one, so the first one, the second one, and third one. So you can use uh, different. Uh, so you can use the same uh, username, which is correct, and password is different. You can go for the different password. Say that again, Prasad. I did not. Sorry, I missed. Uh... No, actually, I am just uh, sending you uh, the uh, login details, and password is different, and uh, username is the same. Curtis and uh, Pete, right? That is the username, and password is different for that. Okay. So let me go to the offering. So the offering is what structure, right? So let me here. So you can check it. This is also different way. No need to create a project and assign the offerings every time. So you can just go to the, uh, you can just uh, go to the offering. So no need to go for the implementation project and create that. That is that is one criteria. It's the real time. So in the real time, we can do it in this way. So you can go to the implemented project and create a project and assign the offering and you can go to you can query the task in the offering and then you can do that so that is one way and uh, for the practice purpose what we can do is so you can just go to the offering so we have two offerings one is the workforce development and workforce deployment so in that case yeah. what happens is you can go to the workforce de uh, deployment or development whatever it means so just um, uh, click on the setup so click on the setup here you will find you will find all the setups related to this one and uh, so I just want to query. So this is, this is the core. This is the related to all. Manage, descriptive, and search. Yeah. So now you can see that. Okay. You will get all the. You will get. You will get all the descriptive text fields related to this one. So I have. So descriptive text fields are legal entity uh, related to the army structure. Great and employee grade and workforce, personal, extended, employment related and it is segregated to a different level, document related okay and uh, so global options and all these things. So let me check with the grade okay name is grade descriptive text field okay and uh, you can check this one okay this one so name is grade descriptive text field so click on here so now you can see that okay i want to change okay oracle has provided grade discipline. so these are all the related to grade and rate okay grade ladders and uh, rate okay i want to uh, i want to um, add a new one so then in that case just click on here so click on here okay and this is the uh, grade dfs okay so if you want to add it just click on edit and then you can create. You can create one more segment. You can create one more segment. You can we can use this one. Okay. So uh, how it will use right? So whenever we create a grade, so then it will be useful for us. Okay. Yeah. So uh, what we can do is, so tomorrow I will uh, I will go through KFF and DFF creation. So we'll we uh, so we'll show you where we need to apply this one. So it is not only for the creation. How to apply this one? So, I, okay, for example, I created a, I create a grade. So then I need to apply this grade while creation of the grades. Okay, you can see this. You can see. Okay, click on done, and you can see this. Okay, whenever I create a discrete DFF, and you can see this DFF discrete flex field while creation of the grade. You can see that one. Oh, okay, even for the job also. So okay, my intention is that I want to create a one job DFF or one position DFF, and then so then uh, we'll uh, so we need to check that DFF while creation of the job. 
Yeah. Okay. So here yeah, organization structure. Okay, let me check organization structure DFS. DFS organization structure. Main is organization structure. DFS. Yeah. So here, yeah, correct, correct. So now I got it. So now tomorrow what we can do is we can go for the manage organization structure, descriptive flex field. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So then we can create one DFA for job and one DFA for position and uh, we'll show you while creation of the job and position. Okay, so how it will be applied. Okay, so let me okay. let me save this one. Because if we, if we forget, so the task now, so then it will be difficult. So this is the task. Yeah. This is the task. We need to work on it. So main is. So let me ask you one question. Yeah. You know you have seen this PowerPoint uh, presentation. Yeah. I haven't gone through it yet. I don't think Amun also has gone. Have you gone through that? No, right. So does that include this thing? That PowerPoint you have sent? Your PowerPoint presentation that uh, I sent a document. Is it? So you are saying that one? Yeah. Does that include this? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Actually, so the document uh, it relates to chart of account structure. We already created chart of account structure earlier, so you can go okay. through that. So, chart of account structure. So, the document that is yeah related right. to this one. Yeah, that is not, that not related to this one. So, this DFF, okay. this is different. That is only for the chart of account structure. So, okay. you can correlate this one for the KFF, key flex fields. Okay. So yeah, tomorrow we'll discuss that one, KFF and DFF, okay. Yeah, sorry for that. So tomorrow we'll discuss in, de in detail. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, yeah. Bye.